All right, guys, welcome back. Hollow Chain explained. Hollow Crypto and Hollow Fuel. What is Hollow Fuel? Here is your explanation from a software engineer. So most recently, I did a video on Hollow Chain and what exactly Hollow Chain was. It was a Hollow Chain explained video, and you can check it out here if you don't know what it is. Because this is another project that is different from Bitcoin. It is not a blockchain project. It is agent centric versus data centric, which is what. Bitcoin is. So if you want to know more about that, definitely check out that video. But after I did that video, I got a lot of views on that. And as the YouTube algorithm has told me, it seems like you guys like that type of video. So this is my follow up video because a bunch of people asked me, hey, dude, can you create a video on hollow fuel? So here's my response to that comment. Guys, I looked into it some more and man, I keep on getting blown away. And I am literally trying to figure out how can I get onto Binance so I can buy this? Because as we'll talk later in this video, you know, GoDaddy, Google, Amazon Web Services, they host websites all around the world. And Holochain lets you and I do the exact same thing. So we can become our own mini Amazon and Google. All right, let's just talk about that later in the video before we get too excited. All right, if you're a new viewer or you're already a subscriber, you know what I'm gonna say next. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and now let's jump into hollow fuel. All right, guys, so we got to start off a little bit technical. By technical, we mean terms because we have a lot of terms to define. But what is hollow fuel? Hollow fuel is hollow's native asset backed mutual credit currency. It's a contractual service obligation, redeemable for hosting. And hollow's creator define it as a mutual credit accounting system capable of handling billions of daily microtransactions. I swear to God, guys, whenever I hear the word billions, Donald Trump comes into my head. He always goes like, billions billions that is just gonna be stuck with me for the rest of my life just as a contrast billions is a lot of daily microtransactions for bitcoin they do seven transactions per second ethereum does 15 to 30 transactions per second litecoin does 56 transactions per second xrp does 50,000 transactions per second and visa does 56,000 transactions per second the main use case for hollow fuel is for hollow applications h apps to pay for services from hollow hosts. So it's kind of like the dynamic of being Google or AWS hosting websites. We as users pay for their services, pay for their services of hosting our websites. So it's the same kind of deal. Now here are the benefits. It's a completely peer to peer cryptocurrency and it's optimized for high speed and minimum fees. And the currency that you earn for providing hosting services on hollow can be redeemed to pay your bills. That means that the hollow fuel that you get paid for, you can convert that to actual currency that you can then use to pay your bills. Well, let's say like US dollar or something. And it has completely accountable and transparent crypto accounting. All right, let's talk about some hollow fuel attributes because I've been using terminology like mutual credit, asset backed, value stable, a lot of people, even me, when I first started reading into it, was like, what the heck do you mean? So when they say mutual credit, what they're basically saying is that hollow fuel, the token is not going to be used for speculation. It's not going to be created out of nothing. There is value in whatever is being created. That provides scalability, transparency, and accountability. Basically, to make it all very clear, Every single credit that is made on this network has an equal debit, giving a net supply of zero. So that means if you spent $100 or 100 hollows, then I would have gained 100 hollows or made 100 hollows if we did a transaction with each other. And in contrast, you know, that isn't the case for something like Ethereum. When you move Ethereum, you have to pay the gas fee. And that fee fluctuates based on how many people are making transactions at the same time or time zone you are in. Now let's talk about asset backed. Now this asset backed means that this hollow fuel is backed by the computing power of hosts like you and I across the globe. And they really need to expand on this because if they're saying what I think they're saying, it's basically like turning on your phone or your computer and using it as a host and you're earning passive income that way if you are on that network as a host. If you are providing your computing power and acting as a host, well, you're earning hollow fuel, right? For the H apps that are on the network. And this basically allows you to sell. Guys, hear me out. It allows you to sell your computing power, which I think has never been done before. What I'm thinking, what I think they're saying, I'm asking is that you're saying that I can be my own mini Amazon web service provider to hollow chain applications, H apps, and I can earn money from that. Is that what you're saying? Stop talking dirty on me. 
Guys, this foreplay is freaking dangerous. I mean, what you see here, a computing device, what you see there, a computing device, right now, just leaving it on like this, it makes me no money. So if I can just leave it on and make money from it, and that's a source of passive income, holy, that will be us. That will be the public, people like you and I, shorting Amazon and Google and just running them out of business. All right, now lastly, let's talk about value stable. So the price of hollow fuel is connected directly to the computing capacity of the network of hosts. Now that capacity evolves and changes slowly and isn't subject to spikes or crashes like other coins are. Basically how I think of it is like this. Now Bitcoin can go from like 51,000 to 53,000 in as good as three minutes or five minutes, let's say. But if we're talking about making passive income just by leaving my computer on, then how many people are just going to turn off their computer and stop providing hosting services if they are making money with their computer by doing nothing? If you're making money by hosting on your computer, you're just going to continue doing that. So that's why it's going to be stable. I mean, it's going to be hilarious if everybody on the hosting service just turns off hosting. So so all the H app stops working. And then all the people watching porn will be like, Mom, where's the internet? The porn's out. It's gonna be a critical hit when you're this close, this close. All right, guys, all jokes aside, what can hollow fuel be used for? So you can spend it through a variety of different apps or online marketplaces. You can redeem fuel earned by hosting and use that to pay your bills. You can also borrow hollow fuel based on your track record, your proven track record of hosting in order to pay for things. So in essence, hollow fuel is designed for microtransactions, which makes it a real iota killer here. Here's the main difference. With Bitcoin, we have one global ledger. With Holofuel, each user has their own ledger showing their account balance and their own transaction history. Transaction just basically requires an agreement between two people. And if they agree, that transaction is recorded on both of their respective ledgers and validated by their peers in the network. The agent-centric design lets the transaction per second increase the more people that uses it. So it will scale the more people that come on the network and uses it. You can't earn hollow fuel by mining or staking because that doesn't exist. The only way to earn hollow fuel is by providing web hosting. Anyone can be a host and be compensated by the app providers who want their H app to be served on the web. Now let's talk about supply. So there's no supply limit because it is a mutual credit currency and that protects it from volatility. Supply will decrease when a host redeems their fuel that is earned through hosting. That makes sense because you are removing supply from circulation by doing that. Now, the circulating supply of hollow fuel really depends on how the host spends. If they spend within the chain, then the supply goes up because the credit stays in the system. If they pay off or do some withdrawals, then the supply goes down because they are taking supply out of the system. Now you can also buy hollow fuel from hollow reserve accounts or from an exchange. Buying from the reserve accounts will always be cheaper than buying from an exchange. And if you buy from a reserve account, that means that supply will go up. If you buy from exchange, that means the supply won't change. And that makes sense because from an exchange, it's just from like a person to person. Basically, supply will expand or contract based on demand and it'll automatically adjust to market behaviors. As with any kind of economics, the price of hollow will be determined by competition and supply. So obviously, the value and price will probably just rise and rise more as more applications and more hosts comes into the system. You can buy hollow fuel with the ticker HOT hot on exchanges like Binance. If you're in the US, I have no idea. I'm in the US right now and I cannot use Binance. We have Binance US. I don't think it's on Binance US. So if you're in the US and you have Holo, let me know where you buy that stuff. I'm going to briefly talk about use cases. Now, Holo Fuel is completely different and unique in that it can be used as everyday currency if it gets to that point. Because we're only talking about being a host on your computer and earning money and things like that. And from what we discussed, the asset is stable and not speculative. That means that that can be potentially used for other purposes like internal supply chains, payment systems, bonuses. I mean, the list is endless. Why is hollow chain different? Well, with blockchain, every transaction that is made has to be broadcasted to everybody. It has to go across the globe. That's just how it is. With the agent-centric model, you basically have your own chain or network. So when you sell your five lemons, only the buyer and seller and those in your network needs to know. The entire world does not need to know. Like, come on guys, your dad does not need to know about your P-Hub premium subscription. I mean, get your own subscription. Don't mess up with my history. I have specific things I like to watch. And that includes Donald Lee's crypto channel. All right, guys, all jokes aside, 
You can get all my content on my channel for free. It's hosted on YouTube and nowhere else. Well, other than Odyssey, it's only those two places. So go check out Odyssey if you haven't already. I'll keep it in a link below. But other than that, if you haven't subscribed already, please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out these other videos on cryptocurrency and passive income. And I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.